Hey everybody and welcome to today's video in which we are going to cover a pretty easy or pretty basic uh, thing that everybody should know if they ever want to get into doing 3D modeling by following a blueprint. So what is the question? The question is how do we get our blueprints to be world's realistic world scale? So. The first thing we need to, in order to do this is a blueprint. Now, the uh, blueprint can be anything or about anything like starting from the s smallest things up to complex uh, buildings, cars, jets, tanks, whatever. So uh, for this video, I'm going to start with something very simple. I'm actually going to uh, use this blueprint for a faucet. So as you can see, just a few measurements nothing too complex so we want to set this up in 3ds max that we can use and build realistic or real scale model following this blueprint so the first thing that i want to do here is i want to well i'm gonna put this into quotation marks when i said i want to fix this what i mean by fix is I want to get rid of the white background because the, if we put this thing uh, as a background here and work on it, it's going to be very contrasty and it's going to be a pain on our eyes. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, I'm going to open up Photoshop, open up the image in here, drop in an extra layer on top of it. So you can either click here or just uh, hold on Control Shift and N click OK and now fill it up with any color that you like me personally I prefer using blue like this one but uh, fill it up with a uh, color reduce the, the opacity to something that you like either 60 or 70 percent and we get more or less a blueprint as the name states so uh, go and save this name it a blueprint and hit save there we go so we've basically prepared ourselves a blueprint that we can now use inside 3ds max all right so i'm going to close this get back to 3ds max and now here's the thing uh, as soon as you make the the image what you want to do is right click go to properties and now in the details here you have the dimensions of the image you have a 2587 by 665 pixels so these actually are very important because before you put them on the background here you want to have a plane that is going to be exact that uh, size so the dimensions have to be exact otherwise you are going to end up with a distorted image so what we want to do here is create one uh, plane uh, reduce the segments for the width and length to one and before you do this it's uh, actually a good practice whenever you're working with something like this to to check out and see what the sizes or what are the these numbers now for this one I know this is in millimeters so I have set up my scene in the customized with unit setup I have set up my um, display unit scale is metric and millimeters and the system unit setup again as millimeters so i'm pretty sure that everything that i do here is going to be exact in uh, millimeter size so here's the thing now once you put this you have the length and the width the length over here coincides with the second number right there and the first one is the width so again let's go and put in those values here so go 665 by 2587 and we get this type of a size so just go like 2587 there we go and now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to open up my material editor add the material on it put our blueprint in the diffuse slot over here and show it in the viewport 
zoom in there we go as i can see there is no uh visible distortion everything is right i'm going to put this to zero 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 and we have this as a background right now but before going on a rant and saying that we are done we are not even uh nearly as done because even though we set our scene as millimeters and we made the pixels coincide with millimeters this is not actually correct for now so i'm going to close this and now i want to make one more plane it can either be a box or a plane but for now i'm going to use a plane and i want to make it so it's 178 by 15 why 178 well the first thing is this here i want it to be 15 millimeters so i'm going to put it to 15 so i can reuse this twice and then make this 178 millimeters so 178 now this here is the size of what i'm trying to uh, get now in order to be able to see through i'm gonna go and press alt x that is going to make it see through and now here's the very important uh, part you want to select your blueprint your blueprint plane and now with the scale tool scale it down until it gets more or less to the size that you have here now what you want to do here is make sure you scale this down until that see-through portion is right on this slide so we just need to make it a tad bit bigger and if you cannot do this manually what you can do is right click on the select uniform scale and then you have a much finer handle where you can move it now make sure that it's while it's moving it's right in between the borders there we go move it until it's right there and as we can see it's right next to the edge same thing here and that is as we placed it at 178 so this means that if i move this thing down this should be 15 and there we go 15. so now if I uh, still have my blueprint selected, you're going to notice that the absolute local is at 12% and uh, 0.713. Now, we might want to uh, reset this back to original. And the way to do it is go back to utilities, hit reset X form, reset selected. And this is going to get all of those back to 100. Right click, convert to an edible poly, and we are done. We have reset the uh, the size for this I'm gonna put it back to zero zero and zero delete this one as it was a helper and with this into we can just drag it to the background a bit right click uh, go to object properties from here hit on the freeze show frozen in gray take it off and uh, unless you want to get rid of the texture which in this case is not what we want to do and click OK. Now we cannot no longer select the background, but in the front viewport we can use it as a background on which we can continue modeling whatever it is that we want to model. So that about covers the basics on how you can use a blueprint inside 3ds Max and get it down to a, a regular or correct scale. So, I hope you guys had fun, you managed to learn something new. If you do have any questions, leave them below. I will meet you in the comment section of the video. If you did enjoy this video, then please click the like button. If you're not subscribed, now is a great time to do so. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next videos in which we will continue using what we just learned and build more upon it. See you there. Bye-bye.